Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by some process. In this video, we will show you the step-by-step -step integration of Facebook product catalog with our app, as well as three methods for submitting category-specific recommended attributes for enhancing your Facebook product catalog as listed below. Individually from the product details page. Using bulk edit feature. Bulk upload using product CSV export import feature. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notify instantly once we upload any new video. Let's see step-by-step -step integration of Facebook product catalog. Facebook has recently started to support category-specific recommended attributes to enhance the quality of your catalog and drive more value from your Facebook shop. Providing these detailed attributes about your products helps customers discover your items online and make well-informed purchase decisions. So if you have still not opted for it from our app, then you will see a notification message within our app for new Facebook and Instagram shops. You just need to enable this feature by clicking on Sign Up Now button. It will take you to Facebook Product Catalog Integrations page. If you have still not submitted feed to your Facebook Product Catalog from our app, so now we need to log in with the Facebook account. And on the following page, we need to select Facebook Business Manager account from the first drop-down menu. And then need to choose Product Catalog from the second drop-down menu for automatic product feed submission. Once we will finish the integration with the app, we will be able to see the Facebook account, Facebook Business Manager ID, and Facebook Product Catalog name, with ID, shown in the integrations page. If we check the Manage Products page, products will be under pending status for being submitted. It may take about 20 to 30 minutes to submit the updated data. Once the submission process is complete, you will see submitted status for your products for Facebook within a wrap. You can try refreshing your product catalog to see if products are there or not. It may take a couple of hours if you have a large number of products to be visible within your Facebook product catalog. Now, we can proceed for assigning and submitting category-specific recommended attributes from the product details page individually. Before we proceed further, there are a few key points that you should know about. As of now, Facebook accepts only these category-specific attributes under Enhanced Catalog, only for a few selected Google product categories and subcategories. Apparel and Accessories Home and Garden Jewelry and Watches Health and Beauty Electronics Baby Products if your products do not fall under any of these categories, then category-specific recommended attributes cannot be submitted in feed to your Facebook product catalog. You will need to assign the Google product category to your product, then our app will show the attributes for that particular product category. If you have already created multiple variant options for your products or stored any additional attributes in the product meta fields in your Shopify store, like color, size, or storage capacity for mobile devices then it will be automatically submitted in the feed in such a case we do not need to reassign it under the category specific recommended attribute section within the app as mentioned earlier we will first need to assign the google product category for products then it will display category specific recommended attributes for each category we recommend that you choose the most suitable category possible that applies to each item to help customers understand what type of items you're selling. Let's see how it works. For this particular product, as soon as we assign headsets as the Google product category, it will display new attributes under the custom attributes section. You can assign value for the applicable attribute and leave the rest disabled. Here we are assigning mobile phones value for compatible devices and not assigning product dimensions. Please make sure to update product after making any changes from the product details page within a wrap. 
Once the product will show submitted status within a wrap, you will be able to see the data updated within your product catalog within an hour. Here we can see that compatible devices is now showing mobile phones as value for Bluetooth headset. Let's take another example of sunglasses. As this product falls under the apparel and accessories category, we will also need to provide age group, gender, color, size, and material, etc. attributes, if applicable, along with category-specific recommended attribute style. Here we are assigning aviator style along with adult for age group, new for product condition which is optional, unisex for gender, black as color, and optionally metal with coated glasses as material for this product. After adding value for any custom attribute, we can press enter or return key to save the changes. Any such attributes will be synced with your product catalog within one hour after it is successfully submitted from our app. As we can see, now Sunglasses is showing values for all the attributes within the product catalog. Let's move to the next phase of assigning the attributes using bulk edit feature. Here we are going to assign the Google product category for products for which it is still not assigned. First we will filter such products for which Google product category is still not assigned. As an additional filter, we can search the product by its type, or you can also apply additional filters like product type or brand name. So let's apply an additional filter of vendor to filter out products other than from new line fashion brand. Apart from these filters, we can also search any specific kind of product by adding a search query in the search bar, like, here we are searching for dress. It will work just like an additional filter. So it will filter out other products and will only show women's dresses from New Line Fashion brand, for which no category is applied. Then we can select all filtered products and use the Assign Google Product Category option from Do Edits in Bulk feature to select and apply Google Product Category for dresses from the Google Product Taxonomy. Once Google Product Category is assigned to all the women's dresses, our app will show the success message. Now those women's dresses are no longer missing Google Product Category, so they are also removed from the applied filters. Hence there is no product qualifying under all three applied filters. To see other products which are missing Google product categories, we need to remove dress from search query that will show products from New Line Fashion which are still missing category. Removing a filter of brand will show all the products which are missing Google product category. Product CSV Export Import Feature now let's move towards the final stage for assigning the category-specific recommended attributes in bulk using product CSV export import feature within a wrap. Let's get started with the first step which is exporting a CSV file from the app. You will need to select all the products or specific groups of the products for which you would like to import CSV for updating or assigning category-specific recommended attributes in bulk. Here we are selecting all the products and then from the do edits in bulk options, we are going to use export for category specific recommended attributes option. Once clicking on the confirmation button export for recommended attributes, it will download the product CSV file shortly. Once a CSV file is exported, we need to open it in the appropriate CSV editor like Microsoft Excel or Mac OS Numbers or Google Spreadsheet. It will contain product ID, title, SKU of products, Google product category, attribute name, value field, and supported values with suggestions and examples for assigning values for each attribute. Please note that CSV will only include products for which Google product category is already assigned within the app. If a product is missing Google product category, or if there is no category-specific recommended attribute is supported for assigned Google product category, then those products will not be part of the exported CSV file. You will see that each product might have multiple rows for different attributes. Even if some of those attributes are not applicable for any particular product, 
Here we are filtering the some specific group of products, so we can assign the category specific recommended attributes easily. We are using some products from home appliances and apparels. While assigning value for any attribute, kindly also refer to supported values column. Because some of attributes only accept value from the predefined lists of supported values, like skin tone and skin type. While some other attributes require us to submit the value in specific format only with a supported unit of measurement, like product dimensions or product weight. Most of the time, you will be able to get the values for these category-specific recommended attributes from the product description. Like furniture and appliances mostly have the product height, weight, length, finish, and weight included in the product description and specifications. Here we are assigning product dimensions, capacity, and finishes given in the product description and titles. Products from the apparel and accessories category like women's dress, jewelry, and watches mostly provide important details in the product title itself. Like product style, color, size, finish, precious metal, and stone details, or the case diameter of the watch. If any attribute is not applicable for any of your products, then you can delete that entire row or leave it blank. Once details are filled in the CSV file, save it to your preferred place on your computer with the easy-to-identifiable title. Now you are all set to import this saved CSV file within our app. Please navigate to the Manage Products page within our app. You will be able to see the Import Products button near the top right side of the screen. Clicking on this green button will open a new pop-up with two options to choose from. Please use the second option Import CSV for category-specific recommended attribute submission. Choose a CSV file which you have saved earlier on your local storage. You can also add your email ID in the notification email box. To receive an email, once the import process ends, then click the import button. It will prompt you to confirm your action. You can proceed to import your CSV file within our app by clicking on the Yes button. It may take a few minutes to complete the submission process within our app. Once the import process ends within our app, your Facebook product catalog will be updated with those imported values. It may take up to 1 to 2 hours to see these changes within your Facebook product catalog. Let's check a few products for which we have updated attributes using the CSV import feature. As shown here, Refrigerator is now showing values for category-specific recommended attributes under the Item Subtype fields within Details section. Also, yes, it is also showing value for product weight, even though we have not submitted value for product weight in the CSV file. Actually it is fetched from the product weight fields from your Shopify database. It also shows the value style attribute for women's dresses. What if wrong values are imported via product CSV? Just before we wrap this up. Suppose if you have large number of products updated using the product CSV export import feature, but by mistake added any invalid value for any particular attribute for a few products. Now how you will rectify this? Don't worry, we also have a solution for this. Our app will send you a notification email with a summary of import to email address which you have added when you have imported a CSV file within our app. It will also include the CSV file with a list of invalid values. If it has detected any invalid values for any category-specific recommended attributes, you can download the attached file and use it for submitting correct values to replace those invalid values. For this particular case, we have deliberately submitted values for screen size with wrong format. Facebook product catalog accepts value for screen size and supported units of measurement only. Also, unit of measurement needs to be used in the lower case with space between value and unit of measurement. If you still cannot identify what is the issue with the values, then there is also an error message field to help you understand the issue with submitted values. 
So now we will add correct values with correct formatting and re-import the same CSV file within a wrap by following the steps which we have seen earlier. As shown here now product detail page shows correct value for screen size with correct unit of measurement. Now as we have re-imported a CSV file, it will also send a notification email with import summary. Now it has successfully imported those two attributes as well. Upon checking the details for that mobile phone in the Facebook catalog, it shows the correct value with the correct unit of measurement for screen size attribute under item subtype field section. But if you do not see values updated within your product catalog, please do not worry, it may take some time to be updated. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing. See you again in another video.